Hey golf people, stop number four on our glory tour of Ireland here is Traley Golf Links. This is designed by a very special gentleman, someone you know that I really care deeply about because I wear that hat every day. I used to do some work for Bay Hill and Latrobe, and while I never met Mr. Palmer himself, I met the people that he touched and the lives that he touched. So as you know, there's a big statue at Bay Hill, but there's also a bronze statue of Arnie right here at Trey Lee Links, right before you step onto the first hole. Mr. Palmer loved this property. He had a real hand in actually designing the holes here, and it's a place that he came back to over and over and just loved to play. This was one I could not wait to see for myself. I've heard so many good things about it. I've poured over drone footage of this place. I've been wanting to play for years, and finally, we get the opportunity yeah. today. Thanks oh, to the guys yeah. at mygolfgrouptravel.com who put this together. There is a link down in the description. You might just be able to join us here in a year. And if you're taking a golf trip to Ireland in general, make sure you check out Tralee because it is a fantastic spot. Really, really great, great, great golf course. We've got people to pay for it. So uh, enjoy, yeah. enjoy it. He looks good in that hat too. The club itself dates back to 1896. It was originally in town and in the early 80s they got this land and they moved out here. And uh, that's when Palmer got involved. Look at those hot bunkers, guys. We don't get those back home in Florida. This place is absolutely spectacular. Every hole you got an Atlantic Ocean view. So Palmer came over and designed the golf course. So it was his first course in, in Europe. Very much hands-on himself and his chief architect, a man called Ed Say. And Palmer would fly in a couple of times and uh, move greens and move tee boxes and uh, very much hands-on. What did you and, find uh, special about this piece of land? Uh, I think he was, when he landed here first, I think he was blown away by it. Um, at the time, you're going back into the, was it the, the early 80s, there wasn't a lot of cash flying around in Ireland at the time, so the club were just, we'll say, securing the deal to sell the property in town and buy this land. And um, it was kind of a handshake. Arnold, will you build us a golf course and we'll pay you back as, as we start making money? And he, he agreed to that. The first is a beautiful hole, but once you get onto the second tee box, then that kind of uh, is the start of many holes just along by the coast. And, uh, the second, the third, third is one of our signature holes, part three, that's down to a castle. It's a, a, an old room behind the green. First of what I hear are a number of spectacular par threes. Only a wall is between us and the Atlantic Ocean here on the tee box. We're going right over the cliff side, more cliffs off to the right, bunker guarding this pin, and an old ruin behind it. So, wow, what a setting. Boy, that's a good shot, Pat. Is it enough? It's enough. We're on the green. Just off the back of the green. You cannot speak too soon in this country. Oh, good looking ball there. Kick it. Nice shot. Oh. Go, 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 yeah! Woo, that looks good. Come on. Oh. Boy, that was a line. One of the best par threes I've, I've played. It's very intimidating, but I, I think it's fair. It's not crazy long. And we've tipped it out for this hole, so it's, it's a good hole. You gotta hit a good shot and you'll get rewarded. Highly recommend you play the tips here. I know a lot of people are always playing for score and stuff, but sometimes you gotta just play for the majesty of it all. I mean, this is about as good as golf gets. Not fair, I hit a really good shot. Man, wind's brutal. Hit it. Oh. One of my favourite holes would be the 13th, that's a little par 3, so a very natural looking hole. Basically Arnold took the top off a dune and there was a flat section in the, in the hills which hits over a big ravine over Brock's Hollow and uh, the, green, the green side is there, they just flattened it and that was it. So it's a, as I say, a very simple natural hole over a dune but as I say, give you the collie wobbles on the tee box, <laughs> 150 yards and uh, but uh, there's all 
death and doom and gloom in between until you that. get to the green. I love that. Yeah, 16 again is another beautiful part three. It really is gorgeous. Everywhere in the golf course you can see the sea. There's plenty of good golf holes out there and uh, good scenery. <laughs> That's the valley. <laughs> okay, got a birdie putt. Okay, we've tied it up. We've tied up the birdie lead. Man, that felt good. That was a tough, but really enjoyable nine holes of golf. <laughs> hard, to, hard to pick a favorite hole there, but I think that green on on eight is pretty special. Even though we butchered it, eight's an awesome hole. Yeah, I agree. Really. Yeah, the second hole pretty good too. Just wrapping around the coastline, just all awesome. I was it Arnold Palmer said? He said I might have designed the front line, but surely God designed the back line. So it's a really good one. So quiet, so peaceful, so serene. Great thing about Irish golf to me is like you're not. There's houses out there in the distance, but. <laughs> It's not houses on the course, it's just you and the land, and man, it's special. Good line, that's the one. Wow. I'll take that par. I mean, I guess this place is pretty good if you like dramatic oceanside holes, links golf in a foreign country. <laughs> I mean, it's about as dramatic as it gets. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. And when I retire, I'm gonna find that bench and I'll be out here every day. See about four or five holes of the course here. <laughs> the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, it's about, about as good as relaxation gets. I didn't want to get up from it. And then I hit just a completely horrific shot. So we'll be fighting the dunes again. Pat has just literally hit the drive of his life on the number one hole here. About three more yards, you're gone. Well, I mean, I, it's not an easy second shot still. We've got like a 40 foot ravine into the breeze. So if I hit the dance floor, I'm gonna be happy. Good job, Pat. All right, 16th hole. It's one that a lot of people say is their favorite hole out here. Beautiful downhill par three. What's the, what's the plan right now? We got 170. Um, if we move back into it, so we're going to play more like 185. Okay, that's going to be a tough shot. A lot of wind coming off the ocean. This is the carryover from our last par three, so double skins on the line. And a lot of pride if one of us can birdie this. It is a good looking hole. I told you I'd miss it. <laughs> I should have taken my time. That was stupid. All the holes were very picturesque. Some dramatic tee boxes, tee shots. I also think condition wise, this has probably been in the best condition, I think, especially around the greens. Surfaces are rolling definitely quicker than we've played so far. Pretty true, I'd say. I've, yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed it. There's a few holes I'd like to go back and play again. 
Just because some of the sight lines and the depth perceptions are a little bit con confusing if you've never seen it, but I, I think it's a great layout. I really do. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you'll keep coming back for the following episodes from our Ireland trip. Check out that link down below about our trip in 2023, and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.